what's up everybody Craig here so I did a video before based on I guess an update from El Capitan to now Sierra so that was going from you know 10.11 point whatever to now 10.12 so that was a different kind of update you know that was more of a big operating system change so it was kind of a different update but I think a simple question a lot of people ask is well how do you update when you're running a Hackintosh just normal you know 10.12.1 10.12.2 just the normal you know uh, incremental jump so I'm just gonna get into that uh, because that is truly what separates the Hackintosh ecosystem from the actual Mac ecosystem on a built Mac from Apple so uh, and it's really not that hard you know sometimes it may deter people from building a Hackintosh because they worry about the updates and really all you have to do is wait like a week but sometimes the same day it just depends on when Nvidia releases the new alternate web gra uh, web driver graphics for the uh, particular operating system 10.12.1 12 point you know two whatever and so forth so um, the big thing is just to watch Tony Mac they usually post it I mean if you know to go to Nvidia site and search for it you can do that but uh, we'll go ahead and get into the normal updating for a Hackintosh, the incremental updates. Very simple, very easy, just follow along. Okay, the first part to updating your Hackintosh is to, I guess, frequently visit the Tony Mac website. So I see that there was an update right here, boom, top, top of the page, and then right to the bottom right of it, we have the drivers. So go ahead and, and click into this. Um, you'll click on here and then it'll bring you here and then you click download you download the drivers it'll be in your download folder right there so here they are in your download folder and we're good to go so let's keep that there and safe and then now it's just a simple process of updating so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the App Store and then just click update okay so the system restarted and now it's installing the update this is good so right now we don't have to do Saying, anything um, if this was a big update and uh, it restarted and it did not show you that it was installing the software updates it, you would probably see so you're naturally gonna have your Mac uh, you know hard drive and then you're gonna have your recovery if you see a third one in there you have to boot from that one to apply the update uh, basically it installs a little nice recovery partition and, and again this is for big updates um, it installs a whole nother partition uh, basically an update partition and you boot from that it applies the update then you go ahead and reboot again and then uh, both times you use NV underscore disable equals one uh, and then when you do you finally install the web drivers and then you're rocking and rolling so right now we have to go to options and then hit enter and then right there in boot arguments now I have nothing because if you watch my video with the new way to set the web drivers the web drivers instead of having nvda underscore drv equals one in the boot arguments the web drivers are now in the graphics injector menu and it says use nvidia web drivers we're going to take that off right now because we're not going to use the nvidia, NVIDIA web drivers we're going to use nv underscore disable equals one in the boot arguments because we're just trying to get to the screen Okay, so basically, if we were to use uh, in, use NVIDIA web drivers, we don't have the right NVIDIA web drivers installed because we just updated to the new operating system. Um, so if that was checked, it wouldn't work correctly. So we unchecked it because we're not using them at this time, and we're going to the boot arguments. NV underscore disable equals one. So just like that, NV underscore disable equals one. And then you hit enter, and then you're gonna go down to return. Okay, now we can go ahead and boot from the hard drive and install our web drivers. Okay, so it booted up, and now if you see it flashing, if you see that it's real ugly and slow, that's normal. See that right there? That's normal because we're just in this crappy resolution right now, flashy, nasty just so we can install the web drivers because right now it's using the standard Apple graphics injection and it's terrible 
All right, so as I was saying, this is normal to just have an ugly resolution. We're at our screen right now, our desktop, and all we want to do is simply just go in there and have the NVIDIA web drivers that we just downloaded. And we're going to double click them, continue, continue, agree, and install. Admin. Uh, and see so this is asking me to download and install but uh, let's go ahead and what I can do right now is just bump this up with what we got right now so right there that's the driver version now let's see if I have the right one now if I don't then I'm probably gonna want this one but yeah it matches up so I don't need to download them because um, it matches up the number 367.15.10.15 F01 yep I don't need this so I'm gonna hit not now and I'm gonna proceed with the one that I downloaded. All right, so now the cool thing is, um, if you followed my new way of setting the NVIDIA web drivers, then you don't need to do anything. We don't have any boot arguments. We don't need to use NV underscore disable equals one. All we need to do is simply reboot and boot up the Mac. And right there it says restart. And then um, obviously, so I'll go right now into system preferences and then go down to NVIDIA and see how, um, see I'll go back to that. So the NVIDIA driver manager, if you click on that, you don't wanna see this OS 10 default graphics driver checked. You wanna see the NVIDIA web driver checked, and so it is. So all we need to do is simply restart, and that's it. Um, we already have it set to, so that every time we boot, it's going to boot up to the nice clean uh, web driver, no boot arguments, the graphic injector is checked where it should be, uh, and it's just business as usual. Okay, as you can see, we've successfully updated. We got Mac OS Sierra version 10.12.1. We have uh, updated successfully. We're good to go. We don't have anything to worry about anymore. The drivers are now in the trash. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, now, some folks were commenting that they were having Bluetooth problems in 10.12. Um, I was doing good with Bluetooth. It was working fine, and then all of a sudden it stopped working for me. Um, but if you look right now, I have Bluetooth and it's working like a champ now. I'm not connected to anything, so don't worry about disregard that. But uh, it's good to go. Um, my Bluetooth is working. So if you're having Bluetooth issues in 10.12, I recommend updating to version 10.12.1. Um, so hopefully that'll work out for you. And that's all I got. So if you like this video, if it helped you, if I kept it simple, let me know. Uh, but go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Uh, also, if you have any recommendations for any future videos, just let me know and I'll help you out if I can. And that's it. I appreciate everybody for watching. Later.